I'm at the slide 32. So Windows services, everyone knows services are right, but let's still go through. So services in the Unix term is a like daemon, right? There's some processes that run for a long time without the, without users interaction. That is the definition of the services or service or daemon. And also you can configure it as a, you know, when it, when the system reboot, you can start the service automatically. And Windows API is a, you can call a create service and you, from the, uh, some of the malware that we, we're gonna look at, it actually calls create service. So we probably, we're gonna see it in the, uh, from the, uh, in the following lab. But right. also, any, if any service being registered, then the registry, registry keys has that information. That is a path is a HKLM system current control set. We just look at the current control set, right? That is uh, linked to one of the control set and underneath uh, the services, okay? All right, and SBC host, who knows SBC host? Who heard about it? Okay, SBC host, okay. This one is a executable, generic uh, executable file to run a services that is come from the DLL. And let's just see. Okay, next one actually has it. Okay, I'll just keep explaining. And the SVC host, when you actually later on in the following lab, you will see if there's a multiple SVC host processes are running. But when it runs, as I mentioned, the SVC host is a generic process to run services that is coming from the DLLs. And how it's being managed is, is managed by the group. And that information is underneath uh, here. They say groups are listed in the registry key. Like, uh, here, I'm not going to read all of that, but you know, current version and SVC host. We want to check this registry key later on, okay? And why is it important? Because malware, when you want to persist, one of the mechanisms when you need to persist, it, can, it may create a service and then maintain the DLA on the system. So you can just, even after every system reboot, you can run it as a service. And it is very good to hide because if you see the uh, just processes, then you will see only the SVC host. But more, more, mostly you don't pay attention to what DLL this SVC host is running. So it's very one of the good place to uh, good technique to use to persist. Oh, because it's run as a group. One one post, uh, SVC host runs, then it runs one group of the services, right? As you mentioned, there is like a multiple groups. So there is like a per, uh, one SVC host process instance per groups. Okay, and then actually the question because we are actually going to look at it in the VM on the VM, so then you're going to be very, it's going to be very clear. Okay, all right. Next, let's say I am at the uh, slide thirty thirty four. Okay. So I want you to have slide 34 in your side, and then I'm going to move the uh, uh, to be, move to VM. And okay, let's see the uh, Windows built-in tool. One of the tool is I can go to Control Panel, Start Control Panel, and there's a administrative tools. So what we are doing is we are going to check services that is running on your VM, okay? Administrative tools is doing good, All right? And there's the services. I'm, I'm sure you, you probably use it at least in once or a couple of times before, right? And this is a one way to see the uh, services running on your system. Here is a bunch, right? That's one way. Now I'm going to show you another way. Close, close, and from run. And CMD, I put CMD, 
So open a DOS prompt. Okay, I'll go back, start, run, CMD, and go to C and change the directory to sys internal suite here. And sys internal suite has PS right, PS service services. Okay. Oh maybe okay this is a typo. So it is a PS service.exe rather than PS services.exe and enter. Then it lists all the uh, processes. This is a, a sys internals tool. And this is the one way to you can check a certain running, running or stop but existing services basically with the various status. Uh, status. You can be running, stop, or what, what else? Paused, maybe, you know. And another tool, then you can also use this uh, Windows tool, the built in. You don't need to uh, uh, install anything. So it's a SC. Okay. Another uh, tool tool you can use is uh, SC space curry space and state equal and make sure you have a one space. Otherwise, you won't work. So state equal sign and one space and state all. Okay, then enter. Then you are calling every services in every state. Then you will get everything in, in the here. And why I'm showing this command line is we, we are going to actually use this command line. But also when you have your some you know, monitoring system, is always command line is a uh, Better uh, to use when you when you want to automate it, right? So there's a, there this kind of tools you can use to check the uh, running services. Any question? So I just finished. Uh, oh no, actually there's one question. Okay, good. Uh, it says uh, on the slide 34, it said find terminal services service and what is status. You can use one of these command line tool, or you can use the control panel. Who, who saw it? All right. Okay. So to this lab, we, we I've mentioned that some services are actually learning uh, run as DLL form. Right. For this lab, we will actually look at the registry key associated with the uh, services run from the DLL. Okay. So. I am at the slide 35. Okay, and I'm going to close everything here. Then let's go to, um, okay, go to, uh, actually, before uh, going forward, any, oh, I think I asked about the, uh, if you have questions, please interrupt me so we can, we can uh, resolve any, you know, questions or problems. Okay. All right, and process explore. So I'm at the slide 35. And do you see the process explore? Okay. Okay, how many SVC hosts are you singing on your machine? I am singing five. Six actually. I am uh, six. Okay, the same is six. Okay, when you put mouse over to one of these service.exe process, do you see some here? Okay, the first one, interesting, it doesn't have the uh, more options. Oh, because I'm looking at the services. Okay, that was what was, was weird. Okay, when I uh, put the mouse over to SVC host.exe, do you see the SVC host.exe 
uh, a comment line is that SVC holds dash K and then there is uh, some argument, right? That's the one it, when a group of uh, the uh, services run is it give the option as a group name. So the count launch is one of the uh, service group. Okay, and we will see what's below so in, inside by looking at the registry keys. Okay, and when you see the next one, it is a dash k RPC SS. Right, it's uh, related to like a RPC. It's going to be like a remote process service subsystem, remote process call subsystem, I believe. Right, and when you see the next one, now we have the uh, dash k NAS services. You know what? Actually, good. I was not just ignoring that fact. When you put mouse over, you see actually services that, that belongs to the group. I, I cannot move it, but there's a command line, path, and services, right? So basically, there's a two services actually belong to decom launch group. Here. How about backbone? Can you see? Uh, I think phone should be fine. Or I would recommend actually put your the mouse over to svchost.exe. Mouse, uh, then you will see the uh, uh, group name and then the service belong to. Right. And the next one, because this one is get much bigger here. Right. There is a net. So now I was. Uh, okay, a little bit change the topic from the SVC host exe, and I'm at the slide 35. So now let's see from bulletin. The second bulletin it says list service groups run by SVC host exe by checking the following registry key. Let's go and then check. In order to check registry key, you can use reg edit. So I close everything from start and run reg edit. I press the uh, left arrow buttons to uh, collapse this tree and starting from here. Now I can go to HKLM, right click. I soft. Also, this one is the same as uh, explore, uh, explore. You can type and then your uh, cursor highlight will going to move to that uh, entry that has a certain character. So, for example, the, this one is a left arrow and I press right arrow and press soft as a SOF. Move the cursor to a software and right click. Arrow, uh, right arrow click, then Microsoft. Then Windows NT. And right arrow button click. Current version, then SVC host. And do you see this, the reg edit status bar said HKLM software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, SVC host. Okay. Now, how do you see the same services that I, I, I see? How many are there? Like 12. Okay. Do you see the same thing? Anybody who don't see this one, do you see everything here? Okay, all right. And it says decom launch group. Let's go to decom launch group. Do you see the data? That's the two service we just saw inside the process explorer, right? Two service. And in the registry key, in the registry key, you also can you know, verify once uh, SVC host runs with a dash K option and then decom launch group, then you are at the SVC host that you see 
is actually running two services as uh, specified in the registry key. So how about the next one? It says, check the following registry key to identify services. So uh, I am asking for uh, the, the last, second last bulletin from uh, slide 35. So can you go to term service registry key and check? What's there in the value? Okay, everyone has the same page as I have. So when you actually go uh, back to slide 32, right? So slide 32 says register services can be found under you know this registry key, right? System current control set services, right? Now you see there is a terminal service here, right? When I actually, when you actually looking at the image path, it has the image path of service host rather than some executable a BIOS path, right? So uh, this one just uh, showing that you know one the uh, one of the example of service that is actually run out of the DLL, okay? And so now can you go to the two questions? It says under the term service registry key. It said, what is the image path? Actually, I just showed. And what is the sub-key? Uh, in the sub-key parameters, what's the service DLL value? Right. So again, key is nothing but container, like a directory, right? So you don't see the uh, parameters here, right? That means it has another right? sub-key is uh, another directory, right? service image path parameters do you see the same path as a service DLF the term SRV that DLF on your screen right so this is explain that this you know term is it the um, term terminal service it is from the DLL which is indicated in uh, this uh, under this registry key and the service DLL value, right? And it's here. Any question? Everyone's good? Right. So, right, let's then move on to slide 36. Okay, let's go over the walk right line by line and answer the questions on the uh, question in the slide 36. Okay, did you, uh, who finished the uh, question on the uh, slide 36? All right, all right. Okay, so maybe I get uh, half. All right, so this, this one is one of the examples that service actually run from the executable directly rather than uh, using the SVC host exe. So when you see like a CI SVC, you don't see the parameters uh, subkey, right? Because it's not, net, uh, not necessary because everything is in, in, under this uh, registry key directly, right? Okay, and another thing is mentioned was this one, one of the values start. It indicated whether it is like starting from the boot 
or not it's or is, you know supposed to start as a manually but if it's a malware it's a registering itself as a service it most likely okay i'm the service and start in every reboot right so they can proceed right okay? all right any questions so far how about benford Good question. Yeah. So three good question. Um, hold on, second. Did I make it? Because I don't remember on top of my head. But this is what is very good for you know looking up the MSDN. Okay. I'll just uh, try one more time. If I cannot find it, then I'll probably get back to you. So usually, why it has a number? But when you in program, you use it to macro, right? So macro is to define some values. And uh, usually MSDN has, you know, what the macro, you know, if it, it can say it's a own start or, you know, and then they want the macro value associated with the actual integer value. So, uh, yeah, how about I will get back to you for that uh, question. And actually, before that, uh, I, I, I should be able to look it up, but before that, let's uh, look at the, not here. In the VM, let's see. Administrator tools. I I showed you like a different ways to you get the. Uh, uh, you know what? Actually, PS services should have that value, but let me check this one first. Yes, uh, yeah. Okay. It says okay. All right. So by just looking at it, my guess is like a, the th three is saying that you know you're not gonna restart right after reboot because just. Only because I'm saying that because it's currently stopped uh, state. But uh, do you find it? I found something. Else. What is that? The two is automatic, three manual. There you go. Disable. Yeah, that's the answer. So three is a manual, so it does not start automatically when the system reboot. But so you are supposed to get started manually, and yes. So uh, the answer is a manual. Okay. And Thank you. No problem. Sorry about that. I just usually do not remember uh, the, all the uh, numbers, but in general, that's why uh, looking up like MSD is uh, the best way to like, uh, see the actual value.
right? So we are, automatic was the number two, right? Automatic manual was a three. So if, manual, right? So if we, do, if we use a malware, then you want to probably put the start value as a two. So once we put, automatically restart, right? So now I'm moving to moving uh, to uh, slide 37. So for that, uh, let me check. I think we can close this VM. Let's just close it. The Windows XP VM and it asks for restore kernel snapshot RCA, then say yes, okay. Check, okay, so we can just close it. 